Alright YouTube, what is going on? It's Hightower 5000 here today, bringing you another episode of my Road to Max game today. Here we're starting off episode number 2 and I'm actually doing quite well as you can see in my sinkholes. Very quickly going to rub these two lamps before I leave and that should get me a good 50k experience. Which means I'll end up getting 83 dungeoneering, so safely on our way to 85 now. What I want to do eventually is get into Frost Dragons, that's a very good money making method anyway. Which I want to access. So Dungeoneering is doing quite well actually as you can see right now, 250k away from 84, only 550k away from the end goal. I do actually have a daily challenge right now, uh, delve into Demonheim, which I'm going to go and hopefully complete and then we can maybe get some more XP as well from that. So I'm hoping anyway by maybe the first week of January I can hopefully be at level 85 Dungeoneering. Obviously doing my sync calls every single day is probably the best way to do that considering I don't really like doing the dungeons too much. Alright, okay, what is up? It is about 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm just about to get my next level here. It looks like you're not using the nature thing, but uh, I'm only a little bit off. I was only about 6k off runecrafting anyway. I've came down to start my daily challenge, which I actually have extended, and uh, I'm just 500 XP away now. One thing I want to talk about is challenges and bizwax very quickly. I actually extended some of my tasks here. Um, as you can see I extended this one so I doubled this one so hopefully I can get a nice bonus chunk of XP at the end of this once I finally get here not at all sure there we go there's a nature one basically I need to either get like nature laws and astrals or something like that some high level creatures basically I need to get some runes off and that should hopefully get me my level so I'm going to be here to at least 75 anyway hopefully I'll get a nice large chunk of experience for doing the daily challenge anyway and 114k it really isn't that much. Also with the fact that I've got like 45,000 or 42,000 at least anyway bonus experience this is going to make this quite easy so I might even go on maybe try 76, 77 if not further but saying that I usually do get bored and maybe do a skill for an hour then change up and do another skill for example so I've done quite a bit of dungeon eating since I last left you actually I left you with last night's sinkholes then did today's sinkholes and did some levels so as you can see there I'm down to only 400k when I was at like 550k so I've got a good 150k there there's the level though, so I'm quite happy with that, and I guess the grind continues. Alrighty, so it is the next day now, I can be as loud as I want, because obviously when I'm playing at 2 o'clock in the morning, there are people sleeping. In a sense, I'm actually looking forward to going back to university, because I'm going to be as loud as I want, when I want, because the walls are near enough soundproof there, which is quite good. Anyway, we're just about now at level 75. I actually did my challenge middle of last night, that was fine. Still not actually turned it in yet though, so if I come in here and look at this, you can see that I've actually done it, so I mean I imagine I'm still going to get a large amount of XP from that anyway. I just stayed on here last night so I want to use up all my bonus XP really, used all that up now as well, and I actually got quite lucky today on my treasure keys, I had three of them for some reason. Got a wee bit of smithing which I've got an idea for smithing to do today, and also got some nice feeding experience as well which is quite nice. Anyway, we're a wee bit off this now, this is probably going to take quite a while, especially at 31, I don't know why I'm doing chaos, there was a shifter over here I think, which is why I came over to this wee floating island here. But my idea for smithing is actually, because I've got a nice bit of bonus XP, I'm going to use my festive aura, which obviously gives you half an hour of a boost, I've also got my wisdom aura to use, which gives you 2.5% boost for I think half an hour. Use them, and use super heat, so I can get a lot of smithing XP, which I'll have bonus for, and I'm only 60k away from leveling up. And I also have a lot of magic XP to get as well. And I have 158k bonus magic XP, which is quite a lot. Make a lot of use of that. So that's what I'm probably going to do anyway. There's a nature over there. I'll just finish off on this chaos actually. But I mean, that's quite a good idea. I think actually that'll get me quite a lot of XP. Might anyway get me a magic level. Because uh, the, the amount of XP, bonus XP, there's just absolutely nuts. That's wonderful. And then of course as well, hopefully that'll maybe get me a level at least anyway. I uh, at least want to get to minimum of 75, um, but it's going to be a very long grind smithing I think. I'm not at all sure what the best way to do smithing is actually. Right now I think I'm doing super heats because I do, I'm not so sure if I do make a profit. Probably make a bit of a loss, but it's not too bad a loss compared to other losses. So please tell me if there's an efficient way for me. I want like maybe 100,000 experience an hour. That would be fine. I do not want to do cannonballs or anything like that. I just want to be able to do something that will, is not too big a loss, I'm willing to spend up to 10, 15 mil on it, to get to 89 at least anyway. And then, uh, yeah, because I mean, this is really, really slow right now, I just can't be bothered. Anyway, while I was talking there, we gained 75 runecrafting, which is quite nice. 
So now I think, oh, a giant pouch. Oh, I need to get some more points for that, actually. I'm pretty sure I need quite a few different levels as well. I've been looking at some of the point stuff as well. Get a teleport out of here right now, actually, and go and claim my reward. Got a lot of points there, so I might go ahead and buy some weight-reducing clothing. Not overly bothered about the stuff, though. High chance I'll probably be back at rune span maybe later on today or something. Because this is a skill that I want to continually train. Anyway, if we find the person here and turn in challenges, hopefully I get a nice large amount of XP as well. There's 49k as well, so already a good head start on the next level. I'm going to reset a target now for probably 77 because you get some blood impacts, I think, at 77, which I would quite like to get use of. Alright, okay, so as you see right now, I am doing some crafting right now. I'm actually playing the harp in the Elf City. Why? Well, because I've been working on a video all afternoon, working still on this 99 cooking guide. Hopefully it's going to be absolutely amazing once I finally get it finished. But as you see now, I'm only 2k away from gaining 79. I had all these skills, interestingly, actually. Agility, hair blower, feeding, and crafting at 77 at one point. And my aim is obviously to get them all to 80. I'll slowly get there. Agility will probably take quite a long time. That's a lot of time I need to spend on agility. Hard blow is a viable skill, so I'm not too worried about that. Feeding I will get over time doing Pyramid Plunder. I need to start doing that daily again. And then also crafting as well. I just come here and play the harp randomly. Usually when I'm making videos when I need time out of the game and I can't really be at the keyboard. Hence why I originally said, okay, I want to train maybe some more rune crafting, but I realised that wasn't AFK enough. Don't get me wrong, it is AFK, but I wasn't even looking at a runescape screen. I had Photoshop on one screen, Sony Vegas on another. You did them both. Whereas if I was just viewing one screen and had runescape on the other, then I probably would be doing rune crafting right now. So, hence why crafting might be a little bit of a surprise, but as you can probably tell now, actually, I'm levelling up an array of different skills. I'm not just sitting at one place leveling up a skill for hours on end because I just can't do that. I don't have that attention span. I get too bored. That's why I like to change it up. Well, I'm not too sure if it is a good update or not. Obviously, it's good that crafting is now, in a sense, AFK. I'm not overly bothered about that. In a sense, crafting is now free. Crafting used to cost a lot of money, and I mean a lot of money, with dragon hides and all that stuff. Not at all sure. Well, I imagine they probably have dropped, actually, which is maybe good because dragon hides were really expensive to make cost you a few k to be able to make something and then you'd only sell it back for like a k so crafting actually had quite a loss at it obviously with this yes it isn't the fastest per hour but it's afk and it still gets you xp so i'm not going to complain about it i would also like to thank everyone who's viewed road to Matscape episode one actually it's done absolutely amazing it's not even been up i think it's been up for maybe 19 hours or something it's already on 175 views 32 likes and it's got an amazing response so Thank you very much for that. Obviously the series is going to go down a treat. So we'll continue to bring you episodes. Right now anyway, it's probably going to be two a week or maybe even more just because I'm off right now. So I'm playing RuneScape pretty much like eight to ten hours a day while making videos and doing other stuff. But when I go back to uni, it'll probably drop anyway to probably about one a week. But it all depends on how fast I level up and how much I play. All right, okay, so here we go at 87 XP now. I'm going to get eight. I don't know how the XP thing works on this actually, but yeah, but construction as well actually which i cannot complain at however i'm probably going to do protein planks to gain some construction levels need to do that again at some time soon but anyway there we go so it looks like i've actually unlocked quite a lot of new stuff stuff that i'll probably never use but that is not too bad quite happy with that so that's me now one level away there from level 80 which is then go 186k to go quite a week while but obviously it doesn't really matter because i usually only train at crafting when i need to afk Alright, okay, so you guys join me now, I'm in the Elf City, and I'm training, I'm actually doing some superheating right now, this is going to be quite a short clip, just because I'm spam clicking, as you can hear, but there we go, there is me, got another smithing level, so that's me now at 74 smithing, doing quite well there with the smithing, also training magic right now, got like 160,000 magic bonus experience, which I need to use up, also using up this little thing here, the active aura, uh, festive aura, so got 50% bonus right now, Hence why this is quite a just short clip and also you don't really want to hear me because my keyboard and mouse are right beside my mic, your phone, all you'd be hearing is clicking non-stop. I'm just doing this while watching a video right now, so it's not very entertaining to watch at all. Alright, so there we go, another level achieved very quickly, it was only 4 minutes ago I actually just achieved the levelling up of my smithing, but there we go, so there's 81 magic now as well. Slowly getting through this bonus XP. Good thing about doing this is, is it's relatively cheap, because I need cheap smithing XP anyway. 
I know smithing is going to cost me a lot, I still don't know how to train smithing the best at my level though. My aim is 89 obviously, but the good thing with this is anyway, I'm getting two levels up at once. And it's not bad XP anyway, especially with loads of bonus XP and the festive aura. Anyway, so we are actually still going with this. My festive aura just ended and it's quite strange for me to actually put three clips of the same thing into this video. But we're about to hit another very large milestone. Obviously got that doing quite well already actually. I've only got 73k to go until 75. Smithing is now my joint lowest level with farming. Farming, however, though, I can actually get up quite fast, but it is quite a bit of a loss. And then also magic is doing quite well as well. It's already down to 165,000 to go. But what are we really here for? We are here for my overall total XP there, which is at 99,996,717. I was actually so lucky I checked. Obviously, with the normal levels, they're going up the middle of the screen. I'm seeing how the circle's updating. I'm not actually seeing how my total, can you actually set a XP target? So I don't think you can set, you might be able to, if you can please let me know uh, for future. But this is me just about to hit 100 million XP to go into 9 figures and then from that basically we'll have something like what 239 million to go because for max keep me 339 million XP I think. Right okay so here goes, this is as close as I can get. I could actually get a little bit closer if I wanted to by going doing something else like chopping down normal log. Can't really be bothered with that, but right now by doing this I'm gaining 163 XP. Two thirds of it going towards magic and then a third of it going towards smithing. So I'm actually getting quite a bit of XP from this which is quite nice. But as soon as I do this super heat this will be me leveling up. So once I do this super heat this is where I will reach my 100 million. So Goodbye to 8 figures, been in this section a very, very, very long time, but I think it's time to move on into 9 figures. So here goes, and then that should be it now, yes, there we go, so 100 million and 125, which is quite a strange number to say actually, and it's actually quite a nice number to be at, that's uh, 1 8th of 1000, but we're not here to talk about maths, are we, but there we go, so finally reached 100 million, I knew I've been quite close. When I started this I was at 97 million, so that's me already gained a, like 2.5 million XP in a few days, which is quite nice. And to be honest, I'm sure I could have had quite a lot more experience, but I have been a bit busy obviously making videos. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this episode up here, because there has been a lot of clips in this, from loads of different skills as well actually, so we're ending on a high, 100 million XP. Thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Please leave this video a like rating if you have enjoyed it. If you somehow missed the previous episode, then click the link in the description below and this will take you out to the Max Kate previous episode. As you see right now, training some agility, also train some mining and some range in this episode. Also just explain what Max Cape is and really my plans. Quite a good video to go and watch. If you guys have got any suggestions about how I can level up really fast then please leave them below. Also still working out what's the best way to train smithing to 89 from 75. And also anyways I can gain a lot of fast money without doing combat. I know flipping has been suggested. I probably need to start flipping again soon. But I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Anyway thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content guys and I'm out.